On June 16th in Markovic Park, Stefan Campbell fisted the point in the fourth minute of injury time for Armagh to earn a draw against Galway in the final round of matches in Group 1 of the All-Ireland Senior Football Group stage. The result put Armagh directly into the All-Ireland quarter-finals and consigned Galway to a preliminary quarter-final. It put their injury-hit squad into a rough cycle of three games on successive weekends if they were to make this year's semi-finals. It wasn't, it's fair to say, a game that felt like it might echo deep into the All-Ireland series. Not for most people at least, but for that night, Horrock Joyce texted Kieran McGinney. The two go a long way back. They were teammates on Ireland international rules teams, each man captaining the other on different occasions. Joyce told us about the communication after Galway beat Donegal in the All-Ireland semi-final. What he wouldn't disclose was the content of the message. The following evening, McGinney was present at Armagh's pre-All-Ireland final press night. He confirmed the story and revealed that Joyce had predicted that Armagh and Galway would meet in the All-Ireland final. At the time, Galway were third in the betting for Sam Maguire, Armagh were sixth. It was an amazing piece of foresight on the part of Joyce to predict as much after a game where, for all its late spinning drama, few who were there came away proclaiming that they had just seen the All-Ireland champion. So, after 16 weeks and 63 games, we have the All-Ireland final that nobody predicted. It's a fixture that throws up a far greater number of questions than it does answers. For Galway, they're primarily around injuries. What will they get out of Shane Walsh, who illuminated this grand stage two years ago with a performance of elite level kicking? What might Galway squeeze from Damien Comer, whose display against Mayo in the Connacht final was arguably the outstanding individual performance of the inter-county season to date, but whose influence has waned since then? Will Sean Kelly play a part after missing the semi-final? And can Galway mine quite so many scores and drive so much energy from their half-back line again? For Armagh, their inexperience with this most unique of days carries a sense of unpredictability. Other than Andrew Morton and Rory Grugan, both survivors of the 2009 All-Ireland minor winning team, none of the rest have played in nearly such a big game before. How will they react? Will they seek to test Conor Gleeson again, just as they did to salvage a draw in their All-Ireland quarter-final two years ago? And how best to get Ryan O'Neill on the ball he needs to display his huge talent on an occasion as often as possible? This week, Justin McNulty called on McGinney's detractors to use their energy instead to build a statue of his old teammate. Should Armagh win on Sunday, it might be difficult to find a black of stone big enough. These are the days in which legends are secured. For extensive coverage of this year's All-Ireland Football Final and all the other weekend's GAA action, join us on independent.ie.